Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are seeing an extreme day of volatility right now across the whole of the market. All of the market red apart from Sheeb. <laughs> But we're seeing an extreme volatility day. This is the time to be ready. This is the time where you hopefully have had your plan. You're ready, you're waiting, and now you're executing because this is the time of opportunity. This right now is the time of opportunity. Wow, 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 wow. In today's video, of course, I'm going to be going over the technical analysis. And I also actually want, I'm going to talk about a topic which is really interesting to myself. And I truly going to believe you are going to find very insightful and maybe make you even more curious. Um, so that's what we're going to cover in today's video. You can absolutely love it as always. I want to start off with a quick announcement, and that is uh, not the head and shoulders announcement. This is actually uh, just a really quick reminder that every single day, Monday to Friday, Trading Assistant does a live stream update for the members, okay? Obviously, today is a gold mine because there's extreme volatility on Bitcoin. So he's been talking over an hour every every day doing a live stream, getting people up to speed, getting people, you know, aware of what's happened, what we're looking at now and what we're looking at next. Uh, I mean, his updates are the most loved thing right now in Chart Champions. They're absolutely outstandingly good. Uh, so massive respect to him. And I just want to make people just really aware that this is a thing because it's obviously not listed at all on the website. This is like a, a feature that was, was, was released, like really under not many people knew about it. Even people right now in the group are like, oh, I didn't realize he was doing these updates every day. Yes, he's doing the updates every single day. Please do yourself a favor and get over into his live streams because they are absolute, they're just an absolute piece of gold. Really, really, really good updates. And the second uh, bit of an announcement that I want to do before we start the live, but before we, I start this video, I suppose, actually, uh, is that tonight, Igor, the legend himself, is doing a contender's live stream. So this is the contenders live stream that happens every Wednesday. Tonight, Igor is going to be doing the live stream where he is going to be covering Atus and Exo Desktop. Okay, he's going to be going over his new templates for both of those, how you set up Atus and Exo charts on the desktop, and then, you know, talking you through the templates and, you know, basically going in depth on that. So if you want to get the templates, learn how to use them correctly from the legend Eagle himself. You can get that over in the Contenders live stream tonight. So we're pretty much, we've got everything covered. We've got live streams going on on Bitcoin right now. we got Eagle tonight for EXO, uh, Desktop and Atus. And now you've got me here and I'm going to be talking about <laughs> my coin of the moment and that is obviously Shiba coin. And uh, I mean, even if you don't trade Shiba right now, I think this is still going to be an interesting video nevertheless, okay? Obviously, we were talking, uh, you know, we've been talking about this one a little while now. We obviously had originally the impulse to the upside. Okay, we had the triangle and then a, a secondary move to the upside. And actually, there's one thing that I want to comment on. Okay, and this is this is the bit that's outside of technical, so to speak. But I, I, I think you'll find very interesting. And I've hidden the name here. Uh, and it was a comment saying uh, triangle in wave two never. Okay, because textbook theory would actually say triangles can only be in wave four you know and and uh, and this is a this is a uh, like a topic for me which is really interesting because um if you go over elliott wave theory you know people are so stuck to the rules people are so oh you cannot make any deviation from the rule it has to be exact 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 to the book um and this is the thing that for me i have my own own way of doing elliott waves i've openly said this so many times people will always try and comment on my videos when i do an elliott wave it's kind of why i can't be bothered because every video i'm guaranteed to have somebody saying this rule is incorrect you've incorrectly done the rule and I had to comment and then bring this to your attention because it's very, very, very interesting. Yeah, this is clearly an impulse symmetrical triangle with another impulse out of it. This is absolutely correct. And then you just have to think about this. People are referring to this book written years and years and years ago before cryptocurrency was even out. Yeah. Um, and this is what I'm saying, like, get with the times. Who, who would you prefer to listen to? Like, are you listening to this book that was written years and years and years ago, which in my opinion is out of date? Or are you going to listen to a guy that has made millions from this market trading? I mean, <laughs> I'm going to listen to myself because I know that I'm right. And so it's just like a simple case of adapting to the times. Don't be left behind. Don't be following. I mean, I suppose do whatever you want. But I mean, what would you prefer? Do you want to be stuck by a book that was out, that is outdated, in my opinion? 
or do you want to actually follow the market, update with the times, use new theories and actually make money? I know what I'd prefer to do, and obviously that is trading what's happening with the times. Um, and so in my opinion, this is totally valid. Yeah, this is totally valid. So obviously we had our impulse, we had our triangle, then we have another impulse to the upside. As we were looking at yesterday, and I was telling you all, I'm still long on Shiba Inu coin. A lot of people were causing FUD on Shiba Inu coin. A lot of people were saying sell Shiba Inu coin. A lot of people were saying extreme caution on Shiba Inu coin. I was saying, you know, actually I'm still long. I haven't taken any profits and I'm looking for higher. That was yesterday's video. And now we have hit our first major target. And that was obviously what we were looking at here was our one-to-one -one extension, okay? So we're taking our, you know, there's obviously a few ways that we can pull this extension. If we come up to maybe like a 12-hour chart, Okay, we're generally looking for the low of the start of the impulse, which we could either say was around the 3rd of October, if we take it from the overall low, the difference is quite minuscule here. But we're looking obviously for the impulsive wave. Okay, so we take our Fibonacci extension from the low of the impulse to the high of the impulse. And then obviously we could take it from the low of the C or at the start of the E. Okay, and officially the way that I would do it is the start of the E. And if you're very conservative, you can take it from the start of the C. Again, the difference is kind of minuscule here. Um, but that's basically how you get your first, you know, this is a major, major target. This is your one-to-one -one extension from the impulse to the end of the consolidation to coming out of the impulse again. Yeah. So I love to use Fibonacci in conjunction with my Elliott waves. I, in my opinion, you cannot do Elliott waves without knowing Fibonacci. Okay. So obviously from this, we get our one-to-one -one extension. So if we come down here on a four hour chart, we can see it's, it definitely is acting as, um, a resistance right now you're going to have a few different things happening in this moment in time. You're going to have some people shorting at this level uh, aggressively, like leverage shorting for, you know, expecting downside. You're going to have people shorting here for a hedge, which in my opinion is sensible. And you're going to have people also, I think is sensible, taking profits at the one-to-one. -one. You know, this is a major target. Can we go higher? Absolutely, we can. But the thing that I would always say is you, nobody ever went broke taking profits. Nobody went broke taking profits. But people do go broke by seeing extremely massive gains to the upside and then it, it potentially crashing all the way back down and you see massive gains turn to losses. That happens a lot. Okay, this is how the market works. People generally don't take profits. So this, this for me is obviously a major level. And uh, obviously for the people inside the group, we had people obviously buying 20 billion she when I first called this. I actually worked this out by the way. This is, a, this is, a, this is just one for myself. People were calling buying Bitcoin at $1. That gave them 6 million percent gains. Obviously not too shabby at all. But calling Bitcoin at $1 would equal at current prices, well, just below now, uh, 6 million percent gains. But calling Shiba and buying Shiba at one sat, which we done back on the 30th of January this year. People in the group buying 20 billion Shib along with myself, others getting in, <laughs> very much I kind of agree, getting in on the gamble of the time and getting extreme profits. That equaled 46 million <laughs> percent gains to the upside. So as I say here, Chart Champions not only giving the best educational content in the world, but now we have also given one of the biggest percentage profit trades ever. That, tw that 20 million that he bought for a joke on that day, $100 of sheep bought on the 30th of January when I first called that, by the way, is worth $1 million. <laughs> which is pretty insane. $100 to a million dollars, just like that. CC pool, send their regards. But obviously that was when we were first finding that, literally at one sat, 0 0.000000000001 one sat, like absolute, 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 absolute low, 30th of January. And uh, you want to see some some funny detective work. <laughs> the the uh, <laughs> This is why I love the group. Obviously, leading up to finding Shiba, the volume was 0.01p to $500. The day we found it, it jumped straight to 10 million. <laughs> Pretty interesting. But I mean, this is the thing with Shiba and Ucoin. Now, obviously, the price is, ext is extremely inflated. Uh, now we are coming up to, obviously, some big levels. In my opinion, do I think we can get through this? Yes. But is this now the time to like go into this position new? Of, of course not. We're, we're talking about in, you know, let's just zoom down into an even lower term time frame because people were saying yesterday they, they learned to see the lower term time frame. So what we're going to look at here is obviously from the low of our E wave, obviously the low of the E wave to the top of that impulse. We all know 
what happens? We pulled back. Let me just zoom in on this so you can see very well. We obviously pulled back straight into the CC. So that was the CC, the Fibonacci pulled from the low of the E wave to the top of that impulse. Obviously, we pulled back to the to the CC. This was a time when Elon Musk was calling causing FUD. Lots of big YouTubers saying, be cautious of Shiba, sell Shiba, extreme. Lots of people were basically trying to cause a little bit of fear on, on Shiba Inu, especially the Elon Musk tweet, which I just found hilarious. And obviously from that CC, you know, this is the time you buy retracements. Yeah, this is what you want. You want to buy that fear. OK, and obviously from that, we have then seen another rise in price of 75 percent, 75 percent in two days, two days, 75 percent, all from the CC Fibonacci retracement. OK, so what we mean by this is these are areas of value. These are areas that you look to buy. Do you look to buy at the top of a 75 percent pub? No. This is where you look to take profits. Yeah, this is where you look to take a hedge. Obviously, if we're looking at this on a bigger scale, we still have our 1618 above us, major, major, major target. Then, of course, if we if we manage to get there, the 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 big psychological 0 0.00001. Okay, that will be a, be be quite a level uh, if if we get up that high. Okay, obviously we can still be looking at this in terms of the Elliott waves of the one, the two, the third, and then when we get start to get the bigger pullback for the fourth, up for eventually the fifth. Okay. I mean, the high, this, I mean, I don't want to go too advanced for people because I, I think people watching might not understand all this fully, but <laughs> I'm going to talk about it briefly. Obviously, the way that you look for your high probability third wave, it's, it's between the 1 to 1 and the 1 6 1 extension. And generally speaking, obviously, the 1 6 1 8 is the bigger target uh, for a wave three. But nevertheless, you have to acknowledge it can definitely turn around anywhere between the 1 to 1 and the 1 6 1 8. This is a totally valid wave three currently. OK, so you might be thinking to yourself, OK, well, although this can definitely go higher, do I want to buy up at this extension? And the answer really should be no. Of course, not financial advice. Do literally whatever you want. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not going to tell you what to do in that regards. So you have to make this decision yourself. Do you want to buy here? I mean, personally, I would never do this, but do whatever you want sort of thing. So you might be thinking to yourself, OK, where's the next area of value? Where can I get in on a nice retracement? And now if you take your fib from the low of A to the top of wave three, then you can start to see you have this really nice CC Fibonacci retracement of the downside, which is also coinciding with support resistance flips. OK, what you have to remember is that the likelihood is that is this will either this could end in another triangle, in my opinion, or it could end in a flat or it can end in a zigzag. Obviously, the three corrections right now are all open because it's actually still potential in wave three. Yeah, So you have to you have to play the cards of probabilities. Yeah. So your your highest your highest probability for the best trade is obviously a, is a heavy pullback. And that would have to be in three waves down. So you'd have to see an A, B and a C. And obviously what you'd want to see is on the A, then a B up to the CC again. And then you look for the one to one extension. So you'd want to see the another basically impulse retracement impulse back into the CC Fibonacci to, to visualize this a little bit for the people that are a little bit confused. You like you want to see the impulse, then you want to see a rejection of the CC, and then you look for your one-to-one. -one. And if you can get a one-to-one -one extension on this CC, on this SR flip, of course, this is a really high probability that you do not want to see closes back below this wave one, by the way, because then that also invalidates it. But if you can get wicks down below here, this is really, really, really class, and it's very bullish. Obviously, if you start to close below this CC, um, it's very likely that we're going to see, you know, a strong stronger heavy pullback this is like the in my opinion like a must hold support in terms of closes you don't want to see closes below this level if you do uh, i i would be not interested in shiba for for quite a long time to be honest with you i'll kind of just you know move on to another coin to trade you know this is the great thing there's hundreds of coins to trade i mean bitcoin i'm literally trading bitcoin right now it's like there's so much opportunity across the markets i don't want to be you know trading a coin which is just getting heavy pullbacks i want to tr trade the coins you know which basically offer the best opportunities in, in terms of high probability trades. And if we lose this with closes, you know, I don't see another high probability trade for the foreseeable future. So I kind of will just lose interest in it, in it slightly. Um, so that's kind of what I'm looking at here on, on, on Sheep. I, I think we've, well, 100 percent, we've obviously got, and I'll show you actually another bit of confluence that we had here. <laughs> um, and this was another triangle, actually. So you, ha you had another symmetrical triangle that went on here. This was actually quite a nice symmetrical triangle, to be honest. And I think this is the thing with altcoins, actually, you can keep the analysis really simple. <laughs> um, but obviously, you formed another symmetrical triangle here, which obviously did break to the upside. 
that bit of a back test and then another move. This one-to-one -one has also been hit. So you obviously are coming into quite big targets, in my opinion. Definitely, you know, definitely you're coming into big targets. Um, you got to always remind yourself, do you want to buy when do you want to buy at such resistances in my opinion no you one would wait generally for pullbacks you then you need to recognize where are your good areas of pullbacks well hopefully i've helped you recognize how you can find them i think you look for like, the things such as when we're using elliott waves like your fibonacci uh, obviously that comes in with your extensions your expansions your tra tracements your negative fibs line that up with a bit of elliott wave theory and, and you really really are good to go um uh, oh yeah and the last thing that i was going to talk about is is somebody mentioned me today daniel why were you not covering uh shiba and you but back back in like july and the answer is because it was not listed on bybit in july obviously now bybit um bybit have shiba and you you can trade this on on, on bybit and if you look at the entry price here look at the day shiba and you got listed on bybit please do me a favor right now. Go look at when Shiba and you got listed on Bybit. Look at the entry price and look who accumulated. And it never made a new low since the entry, by the way. Do your own research on this. And I think you're going to be very, 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 um, very entertained. Uh, but that was basically the main reason. Obviously, I still have that Bitcoin short right now. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what can we say? That That's pretty interesting when you look at what happened. Um <laughs> So yeah, this was basically the Shiba Inu video. If you want to smash that like button as hard as I can, what I would say is this: if this video gets, you know, I'll do a conservative, I don't know, thousand likes. If we get we get a thousand likes on this video, uh, I will I will do a video on whatever the highest rated altcoin in the comment section down below is. And if that's Bitcoin, that's fine. I will do a video on Bitcoin. It's been a little while. I done a really quick video on Bitcoin, obviously yesterday, but I can do a more in depth video uh, talking about Bitcoin. Obviously, this overall we had that great pitchfork. All, all stemmed originally, obviously, from the swing failure pattern of 63,800 gave us the head and shoulders. But anyway, if you want to see a video about Bitcoin or anything else, leave it in the comment section down below. Smash the like to over a thousand and I will gladly bring you that video. Of course, I'll give you the reminders one more time. Trading assistant with his updates Monday, Friday with live streams. Just everybody loves that. That's happening right now for all the contenders, all the champions. And obviously, Igor with his live stream for the contenders tonight, going over Atus, going over Exo Charts, desktop version, how to set it up, understanding the templates. And uh, I mean, what can we say? We're giving you uh, we're giving you a lot of good stuff right now. So that's obviously over at chartchampions.com. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say thank you ever so much. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've found it insightful. And um, yeah, obviously, I guess the first thing that I will just end here First thing, last thing I'll end with, you can look at the market structure. Currently, I suppose we're still forming another higher high and a higher low. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled on Bitcoin because it is going to be uh, influential to what happens on SHIB, let's be honest. And um, yeah, I'm just going to say thank you ever so much. I truly hope you've enjoyed. I hope I've brought you a smile. I hope I've given you some joy. And um, yeah, if I have, hey, mission complete. Thank you ever so much. I send you my love and have a great day trading, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And goodbye. <laughs> oh no, I will end with this. No financial advice. And now I will say goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>